Okay, I'd like to solve problem 3.30. This looks like a fairly simple problem, but there's actually some units you've got to deal with. We're given the uh, hardness in Vickers of 250 kilogram per millimeter squared. And you're supposed to use that to find the yield strength. And roughly speaking, the hardness is three times the yield strength. Now, the problem here is that you'll notice this is kilogram per meter squared. This is Pascal, which means it has units of Newton per meter squared. Right. How do you get kilogram into Newton? Well, that's because this is not really kilograms. This is kilograms force. So we need to convert kilograms force into Pascals, or I think the problem asks for uh, megapascals before we can use this equation. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we do that using that uh, one kilogram force is equal to 9.8 zero six six five newtons is that familiar it should be uh, so we got that so let's take 250 kilograms force divided by square millimeters times nine point eight zero six six five newton per kilogram force uh, times 1,000 millimeter squared per one meter squared, which gives us uh, 2451.7. seven times 10 to the 6 Newton per meter squared. And that is our HV. So that could also be 2451.7 mega Newton per meter squared. HV. So we can then say the yield stress is equal to one third HV, oops, one third, sorry, is equal to 817 MPA. So uh, it's kind of a simple problem, but you have to be careful with uh, crazy units and that's kind of one of those pitfalls of engineering. We have lots of units that may not be the most intuitive, but uh, these were specified by the uh, ASTM standard.